So over a year ago, here on the channel, we played an indie horror game by the name of Grey Hill Incident. And as much as I wanted this game to be much more than what I played at that time, I honestly thought it was never going to amount to anything more than that because that's usually the story behind indie horror games. They're very short, a lot of the times they're demos and that's about it. And well here we are, over a year later, and I've been proven wrong, and I'm so happy that I've been proven wrong because we officially have the May preview of what will be officially a full game come later this year. If you love UFOs and all those things that come with UFOs and all of its conspiracies, well, I think this is the game for you, okay? I love all this stuff and I feel like we need more UFO sorts of video games, especially within the horror genre. When I played this game, the 10 minute demo or whatever it was, it blew me away. And this one is about 30 to 40 minutes, so I'm excited. I'm just gonna stop. We're just gonna get right into it. A massive thank you to the entire team over at Refugium Games. I don't know if I pronounced that right. I think they're a recently new developing studio or, or whatnot. I'm not sure, but I've been in contact with them. They sent me a code. And so we're gonna check this game out. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm pretty excited. My expectations are quite high, but uh, we'll talk about it at the end of the video. So let's do this. Alright, let's do it. Aliens! Guys, can you hear me? Someone was in our backyard next to our dog last night. When my husband came out with his gun, the unknown was gone. Since then, our dog has disappeared. I want to file a complaint. I'll call the police in a few minutes. Amy, as you already know, I don't trust these people. Neither the government nor anyone else, and you shouldn't trust them either. We founded our neighborhood watch for such cases. I don't want to see a policeman in Greyhill. Brandon, I want this to stop. The whole thing has been going on for several weeks. I'm really afraid. After all, several animals have already disappeared. And Grandma Mary is... Oh, we should have already reported it to the police long ago. I know that's a hard case, Amy. The neighborhood watch takes care of it. It's Ryan's turn today. He will visit you tonight during his tour. He isn't an elite soldier, and he wasn't in the Vietnam War either. <laughs> but you know he played baseball as a professional. He can handle the bat. In addition, you can sleep better at night if you remember that a neighbor is patrolling outside, even if he can't hold on to his wife. Leave him in peace. It's hard enough for him to deal with his situation. Let me finish. Don't tell the policeman anything. Otherwise, we all end up in the psychiatric ward. Are you trying to tell them we think there are little green men running around? Gray, Brandon. They are gray. But Amy, trust me. You don't want to end up in the psychiatric ward. Since that special incident in my childhood, I've spent my entire youth in a psychiatric ward. I've paid a high price to break free. The only uh, way to escape I was- I can't hear that anymore. You've told your stupid story a thousand times. In Vietnam, we went through something like this basically every day. What does Vietnam have to do with it? However, for two weeks, I wear my tinfoil hat when I'm going out of the caravan. I believe they can control us through their telepathic abilities. I'm convinced that the hat protects me. Brandon is right. They won't help us. They would rather make our lives hell. But I would still prefer if an officer stopped by here. You know, I almost drank petrol last week. I forgot I put it in a Coke bottle. Bob, shut the fuck up. Amy, I forbid you to call the police. Ryan, you can hear me, right? My daughter didn't talk the whole day. When she was in the forest with your son in the morning, there was a strange noise and Henry was curious about it. He went closer to it. Rachel ran home, but Henry stayed there. Henry went home later, right? What has he seen there? Rude kid. Instead of saving my daughter, he left her alone and she had to run home by herself. Brandon, that's enough. It's been two months since his mother left me. Henry still isn't talking to me. He just can't get over it, so mind your business. I'm glad he has your daughter to hang out with. Rachel's a good kid. I was sleeping the past few hours because of my shift tonight. 
I think Henry came home a few minutes ago. I heard him lock himself in his room. But he's probably just watching TV like always. Anything to avoid talking to his old man. I think he'll come out soon. What? Uh, they went to your house together, Ryan. Henry wasn't alone. Definitely not alone. No, Rachel has been home for several hours. You're mm. crazy, Bob. Ryan, you really need to talk to Henry. I know what I've seen. I'm not crazy, Brandon. However, it was very dark. Ryan, just take a look at Henry now. Guys, you need to board up your windows and doors. Now, if you haven't done it yet. I'll try to rest a bit. That's a great idea, Bob. I'll reach out to the other neighbors, telling them to board up all the stuff just until this shit is over and everything is all right again. The fact is, the government is hiding something from the people. Things like this didn't just happen here in Greyhill. It started with Roswell, but it's been increasing since the 60s. That's mm. the way it is. Oh, Ryan, my kitty cat. Please look for her during your shift. I'm really lonely without her. Uh, sure. Rachel and Henry are more important right now. But if I could find your cat, I'll let you know. Okay, Bob? I'll try to talk to my kid now, but that's if he'll talk to me. Call me if there's something new. Don't forget to visit us later, Ryan. We'll make some coffee for you. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Amy. Ooh, man, this is... Very, very, very nice start to a game. Okay. So the demo was pretty terrifying. I'm not even going to lie. It was very, very terrifying. And visually, really nice looking. I like how there's a little bit of humor involved there. Um, I like that a lot, actually. Anyways, this is our radio walkie-talkie. The neighborhood is communicating via walkie-talkie. The most time. Okay. Right click to put that away. Let's see, what do we have here? I wonder if this is the same house and are we playing? Ooh, the head bobbing as you run. Ooh, I like that. I wonder if we're playing with the same person and in the same house as in the demo. The abduction. I bought this book back in the 80s. My brother Bob experienced something similar during his childhood. This is my story. I explain everything about what I experienced during my alien abduction. James. Alright, so... I guess to interact with certain things, the little cursor point gets a little bigger. Like this. I wish they would make that a bit more prominent. You can kind of miss that very easily. So, log of incidents. I will log all of the incidents of this night here. Okay. Now, to be very thorough here with this little... Maybe turn into a different color, red, yellow, I don't know. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. <clears throat> Excuse me. Making sure I don't miss anything here. E.T. Okay. God damn it. He still hasn't fixed the TV. Now that's my son right there. Stubborn as always. Seems like this is taking place in the 1990s. If you go ahead and take a look at the calendar, uh, calendar here, it says May of 1992. I just want to make sure we're clear on that. Henry, tell me what you saw in the forest today. You should ask Rachel, that crazy girl. Henry, is someone in your room? Is Rachel in there? God, I hope not. Stop bothering me. What's going on with you, Henry? Tell me. Who's there? I'm going to your room, Henry. Stay here. Damn it, Henry. Stop playing these psychological games with your father, damn it. I will throw you into the fire. Just kidding. I saw that in a Chucky movie and thought I'd say that. Let me bump up the audio here a little bit. Oh yeah, that's more like it. I like playing these games at 100 volume. I don't know why. I'm, I'm a borderline psychotic, but it kind of works out. 
Make sure we get uh, make sure we get some genuine feelings as we uh, progress through these stories. This is this is the attic, right? I don't think I have this massive light in front of me that makes things a bit hard to see. Okay, here we go. All right, hello. Seems to be his room. Someone was in your room. They went out the window. Oh. Yeah, this game has not Max is barking. I was gonna say this game has incredible audio and <laughs> Calm down, Pop. This is the kitchen? This... It's a small fridge, huh? Hold on, Max. Let's calm down. Just kind of... Making sure I clear out the area here. Max! Damn it, be quiet! Max, stop barking! Who's there? Is someone in the shed? <laughs> Max, be quiet! What the hell? Press F to crank the flashlight and a space to turn it off. You gotta crank that shit? find something to break this door okay we need to find something to break the door is there an axe somewhere here oh my god yo I would be freaking out I can't see much it's freaking light in front of me it's so annoying let's go over here Ooh, a crowbar. I can use it to open a uh, some locked doors. Okay, so I'll go ahead and use that. Can we go on top of the treehouse? Doesn't seem like we can do that at the moment. Oh, this flashlight is very annoying. But I get why they're doing it. Anyways, I think we should be able to use this now. And open up the door! Of course. Why would there be anything here? It's all just my imagination. Oh, no, it's not. No, Max. Oh. oh my God. This game is awesome. Yeah, Max is gonna Max. die. Right, how do I get over there? Sounds like the neighbors are boarding up their windows. I guess I should do the same. You should go. You should go so after your dog. Man, I hope this is over soon. What the hell was that light? Yo, this is so trippy, man. I freaking love this. UFO horror. I've been, man. I've been waiting for, for for this for a long time. This flashlight is driving me insane. Cause it sucks. Okay, I probably should go inside. I don't think the game wants me to go into the uh, into the crop field. All right, just one little lap around this area here. Seems like we're just gonna have to go inside. Is there a fire? Dad, it wasn't uh, Rachel, right? Yeah, he uh, locked the door and ran out of the roof. It's okay, he's gone now. But there was a strange light. Look, the TV. It's working now. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. 
lunatics and conspiracy theorists claim to have seen a UFO. The minority tries to convince other people that the small green aliens are real. The government has checked into this incident and has announced that this UFO, fortunately, is just a weather balloon. This movement that you'll see in a few seconds is just a reflection on the lens of the camera. There is no reason to concern, and don't forget to be aware of the small green man in your backyard. Your Mr. Broker. <laughs> that is not a weather balloon. They're lying. The government is lying and they're trying to hide it from us. Brandon was right. They're already in Grey Hill. We can't talk about it to the police. They'll just lock us up in a psych ward. Dad, <laughs> we need to get out of this cursed place. I hate this neighborhood hole. Ryan, are you there? I'll go talk to Brandon. I love how relaxed Henry is. He's just there, laying on the ground. There was literally an alien outside, and he was just chilling, waiting for TV signal to come back on. And all right. I'm here. Ryan, something is wrong with Joe Parson, the farmer, you know. He called me a few minutes ago. He was very afraid. Then the radio connection became broken off by something. He is working on the field near your house. You must check immediately what happened to him. Okay, I'll go check on him. By the way, Someone was in Henry's room. They escaped out the window. I almost caught them in our shed. But there was a strange blue light. I'm sure Pull they're here. Together. Have you seen the TV news? No one will help us. We're all boarding up our windows currently. I know how to shoot because of the Vietnam War, and you can handle the baseball bat. We will overcome this night and drive to our holiday home by tomorrow. Don't forget how I shot your son's hat off while wearing it when I was drunk at the barbecue last oh, summer. Brandon! Imagine how you I can still handle have the to gun pay for that. sober. <sighs> but leaving town tomorrow sounds like a good idea. I'll keep you updated. Over and out. Alright. So let's go ahead and check out the, uh... Did I leave the door open? I don't think it matters, but... Let's see here. Which way do we go? We get the heck out of here. Ooh. The unidentified magazine. A satire magazine says that people who live in the countryside are, the, are at increased risk of being abducted by aliens because outlying villages are so remote it's hard to notice if something happens. Really? Is that so? People who claim to have abducted by aliens often report that they lost time. Alright, let's try another door. I don't think we can go out through the back. What is this? Losing time by much danger. People who claim to have been abducted by aliens often report that they lost time. All those who became abducted by the Greys shared the same story. I think it's definitely going to be that way. Let me just make sure my son's room doesn't have anything. Ciencia. Science. Punk's not dead. Alright. Ooh, here we go. Oh, this is the toilet room. The bathroom. Nothing going on here. Anything spectacular going on in the bathroom? Oh, that's... That's different. Is that what they used to do? Hang the towel from the, uh... 
from the ceiling. Interesting. Okay, that's the front door. Martha, bring out the shotgun. What is that? What is that? Okay. Welcome to Grey Hill. Wait, how do I... I? Shouldn't go that way. How do I get over there? I mean, should I get in my truck? Let me try that actually. Space. Oh. Wait, why am I so tiny? What the f <laughs> Yo, am I a grown-up or am I a child? What is this? <laughs> they all probably crouching. Definitely something going on over there. Is there a fence here that I can open or Whoa, dude. Some of the cows here are dead, Brandon. Brandon, Brandon, this is Joe. They're trying to break into my tractor. I hope this message gets to you. Walkie talkie connection broke. They're small and gray. Oh my god. how believe it or not how comical this game can be it's horrible and it could be horrifying as we've seen in the past and at the beginning of this video it could, could have some pretty decent jump scares but it just adding comedy to the twist makes everything that much better because then the game itself is more forgiving in a way it's horror but it doesn't take itself too serious so far that's what I'm kind of getting at what is this unknown object okay should I go up there I don't know man that doesn't look safe I don't think I can we've got a pallet in the way end here some sort of light oh that's the cat what the is this Bob's cat oh my god the hell is on her head I mean it looks like kitty I should bring her to his caravan okay where is the caravan So we've got one thing out of the way. We're supposed to look for, for the cat. That was kind of like a, an extra side objective. But I'm starting to think this might be part of the uh, of the story here. Okay, so this might be the place. Here we go. Check this out. Look at these dudes. Oh, my God. already boarded up his door weeks ago. I'll have to try the dormer window on his roof. This guy's crazy. Just yell at him. Tell him you got his... His cat or something. Uh, over here, dude. Oh, we're just gonna drop in like that. Awesome. 
this place is pretty awesome. Brian! I thought that was you on my roof. <gasps> is this Kitty? My cat? Yeah, I caught her out in the field near the tractor. Oh, what does she have on her head? I don't know. It makes a strange noise. It sounds like electricity or something. Oh, and Bob, I had a strange encounter in my backyard. There was also some kind of weird electricity. I'll tell you about it later. Let's look at the cat first. On the table. I'll take a closer look. Okay, what table? Uh, this table? Oh, there we go. That's not a table. Mm, it looks like an implant or some kind of probe. Ryan, I think they abducted Kitty. Had experiments. By the way, have you boarded up your house? It's really dangerous in Grey Hill these days. No, not yet. You should do it immediately. You need to wear a tinfoil hat. Your son <laughs> Henry too. They go into your brains by telepathy. Also, don't forget, don't ever tell anything to the police. As Brandon said before, the government knows it. Now. Take this preparation for your walkie-talkie. The tinfoil's on the kitchen desk. <laughs> Yo, this has got a full-fledged tinfoil hat. That's hilarious. Let me read this. Is this his own book? They've abducted me. Oh, Bob wrote a book about his alien abduction experience. Unfortunately, he can't find a publisher. Bob, uh... Baker tells a story about his abduction and describes how to have a happy life or describes how to have a happy life I think they misspelled that despite being probed Bob Baker or a happy live live life I think would be the proper word there what is this the subwater directed by Keith Cameron pizza movie of the year Another hat there, tin foil. Can we go inside his room? Yes, we can. Yo, this guy's tin foiled up. The tin foil upgrade, Bob's creation. Aliens can't intercept our walkie talkies when you use it. Brian, please check the monitors. Fast. Huh? What the hell is this? No, no. no, no, no. To see in there. I want to go there. I want to check out the. We gotta go through the barn here, right? Well, I've got a baseball bat, and I'm not scared of using fucking bunks. Oh, that was so cool, bro! You see the freaking UFO in the distance? Oh my god, that was awesome. Man, I love games like this. This is fucking. Not just games, I just love movies. I love anything that's got to do with UFOs. So interesting. I want them to be real so bad. Farmer's Drawing by Joe Parson. 
Alien in the cornfield. Saw this yesterday. You must report this to Brandon uh, tomorrow. Hmm. He wrote a note to himself. I think he had Alzheimer's. Picasso. <laughs> Uh, I don't like that. Ow! I don't like the sound of that. Hello? Uh. Oh god, they've locked the barn! That's my house. But I saw something in the distance. What is that? Oh, this is my backyard. Right. Hold on. Let me see. Can I see the UFO from here? I mean, I want to see the UFO. Look at the freaking... Maybe I should turn around. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should. Yeah. That's probably a good idea. Maybe my son's being alien napped. That can't be good. Oh, they've done fucking broken the damn thing. I think I remember there being a fence through the cornfield i just need to get around the silo over there oh we're gonna go in the cornfield i know they changed the flashlight i think last time it was a full-fledged flashlight now it's like a crappy flashlight You gotta charge it up. Oh God. Hold on. My God, they've taken my child. <laughs> Thank God, Amy called them. The Gray Invaders. Okay, let's go outside. The police. Bro, what a... Hello? They just crashed? There's another freaking... Bro, look at that. Look at it right there. I wonder if we'll ever, like, once the full game comes out, if we'll be able to go inside the ship. That'd be crazy. And then you gotta escape or something. It's kind of very similar to the spaceship that, uh, Bob Lazar kind of s described. I know this little flashlight noise is probably driving you crazy, but it's driving me crazy too. Hello? There's nobody in there. Top secret. <laughs> I love it. Top secret. Okay. 
Let me see something. Expected alien invasion in Grey Hill on May 11th, 1992. Oh, there's a revolver. It belongs to the police officer. Well, don't mind if I do. Hold the right mouse button to grab the gun. <laughs> don't mind if I do, boys. Fucking three bullets. Get the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Okay, now what? this guy at man the cat's no longer here mm, interesting okay Bob Baker file claims to become abducted by the gray aliens when he was a child according to the statement they made uh, experiments on him and implemented a probe which uh, he ripped out later three words to describe him are lunatic foolish and dangerous Bob has stolen his has stolen this from psych from psychiatry Why is he crazy, man? Just because he's been abducted now, he's all of a sudden crazy? Okay. Bob? No, we're going back to our house, but... What is this guy doing here? Bob! Thank God, Henry! They abducted him using some sort of ray or beam! Right through the roof! And a squad car crashed back there! I think Amy called him! But the car's empty and the office is gone. Ryan, this is an absolute invasion. Do you know what that means? They'll abduct everyone in the village. Humans, animals, and every little insect. They'll take samples of everything, making experiments of everyone. This is an extraterrestrial investigation. This can't be our end. I don't want to end up as an alien experiment victim. They already cleaned your house, so I don't think they're going to come back. I've already started to board up your place. This will save us tonight. But Ryan, we have a little problem. I used up all the nails. This morning, I brought all my nails to the Creek family. Mr. Creek put them on the table in their house. You have to go get them. It's the first house on the left. I think he boarded all it right, up. All right, I'll get them. You have to find a way in. communicate by walkies from now on. Okay. This is a lot, huh? Okay. Test, test, test. Uh, can you hear me? Hello? Over. Yeah, I can hear you. By the way, I found a gun in that crash squad car back there. Great. Let's hope I don't Be have to quiet use it. And sneak around. It's dangerous if they hear the shots and see you. Also, avoid using the flashlight. The Greys could see it immediately. And take note it's important that they don't follow you into a house. If they do, we're screwed. If it becomes dangerous, Hide in a car, a trash can, or something else. Oh, fuck. Yeah, great. Trash cans. Brandon would love to see that. <laughs> okay. Good luck, Ryan. I'm waiting for you. Hey, why can I go here? I did not think I was going to be hiding from these things. I do not like when games do this to me. And the flashlight doesn't really help. Damn it. Diner, what was the name? The Creeks. the Greek's house. Fuck. Oh, 
every door here is freaking locked boarded up wait i can i can break that right yes perfect perfection So, I'm gonna go through here. I see the crouch. Oh, really? Oh, wait a minute. I think I just saw. Oh. Oh, my God. I just saw. Him. Bastard, you come at me, I'm gonna blow your fucking brains out. Freak. Oh, God. Top of the table, he said, right? says find a way to the creek's house and get the nails where were the nails oh my god Okay. Get away from me, punk! Uh, Bob needs uh, them to board up the. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. That's gonna bring more of them. One of the probes again. Fuck. Oh, great guys. Killed one. Is there anything here that I can get? Alien encounter book. Come on, man. This guy was in this room for a reason. He also had a little light, uh, like a, I don't want to say a lightsaber, but like a little laser gun. That was weird. Look at him. He got his ass. <laughs> oh. Shit, you can pick up bullets. Very nice. Very freaking nice indeed. I'll take this to uh, Bob, I presume, right? Oh my god. This is so wild. I love everything about this game. This is hilarious. So there is also another house over here on the other side, which I probably shouldn't even try investigating, considering... Considering it's a demo, and I should probably leave that for the full experience. I think we're out of luck here. I don't think we can go that way. Wait, we came from the outside, didn't we? Oh, we came from here. That's the other side of the house. We came from this side.
Oh boy. The diner. Oh, but that's blocked off. Oh, I see what they did there. I don't think we can go that way. Good. That's part of the demo that's probably blocked off. Man. I did not think we were going to be able to interact with, with the aliens and shoot one of them. Like, fuck, that's crazy. Okay, wait, we can actually go this way? I'm sorry, I'm just trying to explore as much as I can here. I probably shouldn't, yeah, I don't think we're allowed. Yeah, it doesn't let us. Yeah, this is so gnarly. <laughs> this is freaking awesome. So far, I mean, you know, we got to see when the full game releases. It, it could be just like a snooze fest. Or it can really be awesome. Great, Ryan. You've got him. I've got some ammo. Ryan, Take are you there? Brandon, I'm here. Aliens are everywhere, Ryan. They're trying to get inside my house. Rachel, go to your room. Hide under your bed. My house is more than open. I'm not sure if this helps. I need help, Ryan. Oh, no, the windows. Brandon! Brandon! Brandon, hang on! I'm coming! They put something in me. And I look. To the touch. And behold, in which barn? There's tons of them. A stormy wind came out of the north. And you think he can secure you from the angels of God? Father! Those aren't angels. This is an alien invasion. Great bastard. What's that, Brandon? The fuck are they doing to him? Brandon! I'm here! Rachel! Ryan! Ryan, are you here? Ryan! Alright. Well, look, I'm gonna be honest. I enjoyed the gameplay more than that last preview there. The last preview of the gameplay didn't look too well, but what I played felt pretty cool. And um, I, I love where this game is going. I love where the story is going. The whole lore behind it is what really draws me into it. I really hope that it becomes a very polished game and it's not rushed. Like if they need to delay it for whatever reason, it's okay. Just make, man, this game has the potential to be something really fun and unique, to be honest. Uh, based on what I played here, that was really cool. It just depends on what they decide to do with the story, with the aliens, with the characters within this little village what ends up happening with them is it just going to be a game where we go hunting and hiding well not necessarily hunting but hiding and killing little aliens and then that's that or is it really going to be something that's going to be complex where certain characters get abducted we got to go rescue them maybe we end up going into the space uh the spaceship of these aliens and then doing whatever it is we got to do within there i mean the possibilities are quite endless to be honest and th there could be a lot within this small indie horror game one thing that really stood out to me which I, I thoroughly enjoyed was the humor aspect of it like it doesn't take itself too serious but of course with that said you also don't want to be extremely goofy because then it takes out the entire element of horror and whatnot but I don't know it's it's definitely very interesting and I I'd be lying if I say that I was not gonna play the game when it fully releases because I am I enjoyed this demo and again it's just a demo it's just a tease of what's to come so can't truly judge it by just playing a demo nonetheless this was really fun very different experience and i i hope you guys enjoyed it i am looking forward to the gray hill incident video game comes out june so uh that's gonna be quite interesting i hope you guys enjoyed let me know in the comments thoughts opinions and thanks for watching i'll catch you later